I don't know if you saw this, but there's some interesting stuff that happened the other day with Vivek Ramaswamy again. Um, and he seems to be getting all the attention. Obviously, since Donald Trump is kind of sitting out the debates, not doing this and that, they're going after the next guy, right? And it was supposed to be DeSantis. And he's the establishment guy. A lot of people are staying away from him. But Vivek has kind of raised himself up to the point where he's getting a lot of attention, a lot of media coverage, uh, and uh, putting a, his foot in his mouth a lot of times. So this is him over here. Uh, this is the remedy to past discrimination is present discrimination. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm just going to play the video because this is him with on with Dana Bash. He said because there was some comments made from Ayanna Presley uh, saying that we don't need uh, black people who don't want to have black voices for black people or of or sorts. Who don't keep, want to be a brown voice. What does yes, that mean? We don't, here, oh, it, okay. we don't want any more brown faces that don't want to be a brown voice. He said the same thing about black, uh, you know, black faces who don't want to be a black voice. In other words, saying if you are... If black you don't vote or brown, for Biden, you ain't black. That is the same thing what Ayanna Presley said. Yeah. And take a look at the argument here uh, between on State of the Union with Dana Bash, serious news journalist. Look at her. Yeah. You took issue with comments from Congresswoman Ayanna Presley. She reportedly said, "Quote: We don't need any more brown faces that don't want to be a brown voice." A brown voice about that. You said. These are the words of the modern grand wizards of the modern KKK. You Ooh. know, I'm sure, the KKK was responsible for more than a century's worth of horrific lynchings, uh -huh. rapes, murders yeah. of black people. How yeah, in any bad. way are the views you're talking about comparable to the views and atrocities oh my God. committed by the KKK? What I said is the Grand Wizards of the KKK would be proud of what they would hear her say because there's nothing more racist than saying that your skin color predicts something no, about the content you did, you of your viewpoints or your ideas. You didn't just, say, that, you didn't just say they would be proud. You said these are the words of the modern uh -huh. Grand Wizards mm -hmm. of the modern KKK. Right. Now connected. It is the same spirit. You're right about that, Dana. I think it is the same spirit to say that I can look at you and based on just your skin color, that I know something about the content of your character. That's oh, a very true statement over you here. You just got bashed. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> Dana got bashed. Boom. Mm. But it, that that is what they are saying here. Listen, Look at her I, trying to white Kurt, let me tell you something. Yeah. I have, you know, Fiorella Isabel, she is a Latin woman born in Peru. Uh, Johnny, uh, Tsunami, once again, worked with Combo Couch for many years and stuff like that. I didn't see that. What, they, what he's talking about right now until I worked it? with them. No, I, I, didn't, I never saw it. Like, I never understood it. Like, when they would say stuff that wasn't going along with the progressive party line, mm -hmm. they were, like, spoken down to. Like, how dare you say that stuff? How dare you say this here out of line? You're a, you're a Latin woman. You should okay, feel this way or you should say something how, this way. Okay. That's what wait, he's wait, saying. Wait, 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 wait. So this is like, I used to have a podcast with Sherrod Small, my buddy called Race Wars, where we were... It's right at the beginning of all the nonsense things that started coming out. Yep. So this is going back 10, 12 years. Yep. Okay. And it's amazing to me that just now everybody's starting to notice that all that equity bullshit that they pushed is exactly what racists would say. Yeah. Like the 14 words. It's weaponizing the, it for so, control. Did, so you're saying back then you didn't notice. When did you notice that it was the same thing? No, I, I didn't notice that the philosophy is that the, the, the that the equity stuff was full of shit. What I'm saying is I didn't realize like this form of racism mm -hmm. that how dare you say something that's out of line with our message. Like they would get mad at her for stepping out of line. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, that's kind of like racist to say that to a Latin also, woman like yeah. how dare she say certain or speak yeah, certain that's when they, outside yeah. of the narrative that you guys say first is the, all, and it was I, white people telling I her know, that well of course but first of all the idea for Ayanna Presley to go we don't need brown faces that don't want to be brown faces I don't know when the hell they started pretending that uh, uh, Latinx people and Indians and black people and Asians are all on the same side but that ain't how that works and it yeah. has it has never worked. So when he started saying POC and making this fake, because yeah. it was all millennials that would spew this. Yeah. And I go, especially like, it was all, all, especially in comedy, dude. I say Asian, Indian. I go, go tell your parents, Hari Bolo, the one that got Apu taken off Simpsons. Yeah. I'm like, w go tell your Indian parents that you, yeah, we're like black people. I don't want to hear them sign off on that. And I want to hear your Indian grandparents sign off. Yeah, we're in this together with the black people. Yeah. Like, they were never together like that. Like, that's just crazy on a 
to even pretend but that, that will that's like Iraq. But that will crush it. the narrative that the white people are the oppressors. You are the oppressor. They are the oppressed, not the elites, just white people in general. That's what that crushes that theory, what you're talking about right over there. And that theory needs to hold true but also, because uh, that's all we know. That's all we can spew. The, also, the uh, Ku Klux Klan, I, I, I love the trick of as soon as you notice they have the exact same philosophy and she goes but the Ku Klux Klan did a lot of bad yes things. it's well, just <laughs> you yourself Dana said I said their words are the same not their actions yes and so are their actions Let's, Dana got bashed oh I, that I know something about the content of the viewpoints you're allowed to express for Ayanna Presley to tell okay, me that's... that because of my skin color I can't express oh. my views that is wrong it is divisive that is, it is, a, it is divisive that is a debate this is divided. Okay, that's a that debate, is a debate you brought up, Dana. Right you got that is bashed. A debate that, is, that is based on nonviolent discussion Ooh. that you just said. You're using rhetoric, which yes. she said she's using rhetoric. Uh, well, that's the cast is, of terrorism, that's Dana. That's one thing. And another thing is to say that she represents and she is a, a modern version of a KKK, which, as you know, was dedicated to the subjugation. And she just tried to subjugate him. I, well, I'd hate to have her fucking job, really, well, to tell you the truth, to have to try to bullshit your way out of that. Take, they all got to pop pills and stuff, dude. It's a miserable life. It it's, is. What they have to, yeah. mental gymnastics, they do have to pop pills. Dude, I got tons of friends. Okay, look, I know so many people work in media jobs in New York, and I party with so many people over the years up in there that worked in media. You have to be, it's like being an alcoholic or... I, I wonder the amount of alcoholics that work in like federal government, yeah, the media. That's just alcohol. Well, they don't, get paid mind. well, don't they? Fifty thousand a show. Listen, yeah. I don't get paid that, Dude, but I sleep good at listen, night. Chris, Kirk. Chris Cuomo. Have you Cuomo. seen Chris Cuomo? What? Cuomo. She, somebody Are woke him out of his Are you giving me a nickname, Chris Cuomo? Yeah. The great Chris Cuomo. <laughs> Chris Cuomo. If you see how free and happy he is to say the stuff he always wanted to say. Yeah. Now that he's not on network. I, news, we talked about this. Yeah. This is. She's in the Sea Org, and she's got to sit there and pretend. That everything's fine within the site. No, I wanted to be sent to the you. Uh, <laughs> rehab office. Listen, never let a misstep go to waste. If you have a chance to profit off of it or or get emotional off What's of it. What's a or, misstep here? Uh, well, if somebody uses a reference and comparing somebody to the KKK. I mean, Ted Lou did the same thing to Candace Owens. Like, he twisted it. And it's like, how, how dare you mention the KKK? They're violence. They've done all this stuff. This is terrible. This is a terrible parallel. It's a terrible analogy. You owe people an apology. Are they still trying to pull that? These Always. are the same people, by the way, the Her same people that have been crying about Nazis for the last 10 years mm. who now... Arm Nazis. You just shut up about the murders they did. Go, you Poof. just stepped yeah. on Jose Vega's tweet. He said the same thing after Jamal well, Bauman. I'm not dropping the bit. No, this I, is a fugazi, which is a fake, phony, the fake, phony rage from this dude. Listen to this dude. And this torches. dude is divisive as can be. Keep black women's name out of your mouth. Oh, keep my First of mouth. all, that's number one. Number two, keep black people. Name out of your mouth. What, I'm sorry. Pause this. Instead of what does that mean? He Who's he talking to? Vivek. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, so does that black people will keep black woman's name out of your mouth? Who, all, Not mouth. All, all of mouth. them. Yes. And then, so is he saying don't say black people or don't say the names of any black people? That's uh, you tell me. Wait, Jose Vega is he normally that dumb? I, That's I not Jose Vega. That's Jamal Bauman. Oh, Jose, you said Jose this, Vega. This is Jose Vega who oh, said I, Jamal yeah, Bauman say. supports neo-Nazis. That's a 100% fact. Jose okay. Vega is the one who shows up and hounds these people. No, that guy's good. I was like, wait, Jose yeah. Vega, that guy's good. This is fake Fugazi. Oh, Jamal Bauman. Jamal Bauman. Who cares what Bauman. He says? Hey, Jamal, Keep black women's name out, out of your, your mouth. mouth. First of all, that's number one. Who number you? two, keep black people name out of your mouth. And instead of spewing hateful, disgusting, ignorant, dumbass rhetoric, how about you pay homage to the black people in this country that have fought and died for the freedoms you exercise today? What? This dude's such a freak. How about you about? pay homage I hate this to dude. the black nothing. people historically it's got nothing to do with anything. Hey, Jamal, to save uh, pay homage the soul to of nuts. America and move America forward. How about that? Instead of fitting in nicely into the pocket of the white supremacists that you are Ooh. having the nerve to. Vivek, Vivek Ramaswamy is a white supremacist. I hope you know that. That's what he's saying. Um, 
I, I still don't understand what I'm so confused. So why are you confused at the fake outrage that has nothing to do with actual the principle? No, 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 wait, 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 no, no. Okay, so I get. Right, keep black women. I see the Will Smithness of it. Yes, but without the balls of an actual Will Smith to try to slap someone. Yes, he'll just sit there with his dumb. But I don't understand the homage to people that died for your freedom. I don't even know what the hell that means. What does that mean? I, I think it's just creating diversity and finding a way to victimize yourself, saying that black people still don't get the, the love they deserve in this country, that they built this country, and that they've helped move it forward. What does that have to yet, do with Ayanna Presley sounding like a KKK person? What does because, that have to do with Because that? he's repeating the words of a white supremacist is what he's saying of sorts. I think I'm trying. Look, Kurt, I'm trying just as hard as you was he to the piece one, this shit was together. He the it's one, fake wait, outrage from this why, asshole. Why are you yelling at me? No, was he yelling at him. <laughs> Was he the one that was doing the rhyme when he and all this is like we're gonna go forward, not forward? He did this whole stupid. Mm. I don't was know. that him or a different guy? It's a different guy, I think. Okay, well, I don't know. He's got a real uh, slam poet. Keep Jamal Bauman's name out your mouth. Oh, what are you gonna do about it, Jamal? Uh, spew, spew hateful, disgusting, racist rhetoric. Keep a black woman's name out your mouth. Keep black people's name out your mouth. Learn your history, mm. have some respect, so that maybe you'll be taken seriously one day. By who, a slam poet? Look at that shirt and glasses. Jose Vega, Jamal Bauman supports neo-Nazis. That's 100% fact. And when he was asked, because of Putin, man, he's crazy. Oh, that was his reason. I forgot that he gave the worst reason. So he didn't even go, there's not, no, that's not, a, he didn't even try to like pretend there's not Nazis. He said, Putin. Is what he said. Because oh. Putin's a madman. But Kurt, you know when you've been victimized. You know when you've been hurt. I mean, who respects Jamal? Bo is he a squad person? He's a squad. He was a new member of the squad. But when you've been hurt, when you've been a victim, when you've been attacked, you know what you have to do. Have a fundraiser. Have Anya's back against racist attack. Make MAGA furious. The GOP uh, presidential candidate Hakeem just Jeffrey. launched. Thank you. Who... Who Bauman supports and supports APAC. Ethan, wait, wait, this jerk-off does that. Wait, why are you sending... What are you sending money to? Because they've been victimized, Kurt. But, okay, stop hate from taking... What's it. going to hurt... What's going to help heal? But is this for a campaign? What is the money for? <laughs> Look, it's here. Have Ida's back against racist attacks. Make MAGA furious. Do not, okay, but do you not Kurt, know? Are Kurt, you, are I'm you reading it to you. If this is it right here. This is to help stop hate from taking over Washington again. How? Because the GOP presidential candidate just launched a racist tirade against Ayanna Presley and insinuated she was akin to the modern KKK. So choose it about the split between the two recipients, Jamal Bauman and, and Ayanna Presley, and you can you could support. Okay, now they are worse than the KKK. <laughs> <laughs> you what can't, in the hell? You can't make this shit up. What in the <laughs> hell? This is. I, can I? I'm going to put both of their names in my mouth. Yes. <laughs> Jamal Bowman and Ayanna Presley. You are really dumber than the dumbest hillbilly in the KKK. Let's, re let's read Ayanna Presley's remarks. In one of my childhood memories that is deeply embedded in that my own ancestors and living family members have been brutalized, lynched, and raped by the Ku Klux Klan. I recall when my family member had moved into a predominantly white cul-de-sac in the 80s when I was a child, and we had a cross burned in our lawn. I say either that did not happen, I don't believe her, I do not believe her at all, I'm just going to say, no, maybe I'm wrong, I don't believe her off the Kurt, bat. keep Ayanna Presley's name okay, out your mouth. I, somebody, please, I want to say, Ayanna Presley, I don't believe you that anyone burned a cross on your lawn in the 80s, I don't believe you. Either do I, I would in like the 80s, proof. she's lying. That's a conspiracy theory unless she, I see proof. Yeah, it's like it Kamala was a family Harris. member that she knew. Would, they'll dig up somewhere. That they little see girl these, was me. Yeah, that little girl. <laughs> that little, little girl, girl was, was me. me. She should have T-shirts to sell, not just ask for money. I thought she was the one on CNN. So, that looks like Tracy Morgan, but she's not. Right? She's different. She's the bald headed one, the alopecia one. That you know. She has alopecia too. Yeah. Yeah. This is what is the keep my bald head out your mouth thing going on? <laughs> so Will Smith smacked Chris Rock for the alopecia thing. Yeah. Ayanna Presley came out immediately supporting Will Smith, and then she took down the tweet. She didn't have the, the balls. To keep it up. Wow. She couldn't even support Will Smith for his brave Kurt, action? Listen, I think you should listen to the last paragraph of what she said, so then maybe you can understand okay. why she needs money to heal from this vicious attack. So for me, 
as deeply shameful and offensive and dangerous as the candidate who compared me to the KKK wizards' words are, he is not occupying any real estate in my mind. Well, obviously he is. He's not. He's a. You have a GoFundMe page. <laughs> I remain squarely focused on the work of undoing the centuries of harm that has precisely been done to black Americans and charting a path of true restorative justice and racial justice forward. Representative Ionis Presley's full remarks. Where is she a rep, what's she a rep of? Massachusetts. I mean, what is, uh, she's probably about Marjorie Taylor Greene level unimportant, I would say, right? What does she do? I think Marjorie Taylor Greene is more important got more here's what i mean yeah marjorie taylor green is hyped up by people who like pod save america kind yeah. of chumps that yeah. people i know that that's what they listen to squad squad and fraud they, people and are, they'll be the first yeah. like seth meyers viewers can you imagine uh, like the level of midwit that is and they, they they think of marjorie taylor green as a deadly threat in some way i don't even know what in the hell marjorie taylor green does than say a thing that about space lasers right that they're mad about to this day like what? What is the threat? Like, what do you even affect, Ayanna Presley? Oh, everything she just said was nonsense. Yeah, I've never heard of Jabal Mo Bowman doing anything except rolling over when yeah. he's told. I mean, I don't want to throw around terms like "buck broken," but you know, Ooh. well, I'm not throwing it around. <laughs> I think that he is. Um. So that's it for today. That's today's show. Uh, we didn't get to Haiti. We'll get to that on. Uh, keep your name out my mouth. Oh, keep. <laughs> I'm sorry, I Curtis, don't hurt us. Keep your name out of my mouth. Uh, guys, <laughs> uh, I'm getting on a plane. I'm going to Hawaii. Remember. Shut up, Jamal. <laughs> go to my. Uh, go to. <laughs> you know, they should be so upset about the children that are missing in freaking Jamal Maui. Jamal don't even have the balls to missing. slap someone. I know. What he's, a punk. Look at his glasses and this, his shirt. This dude was out there in, in the halls of Congress screaming, like, the Republicans don't care about how many children are killed after a mass yeah, shooting. And, and, and Thomas Massey got in his grill and they started arguing. I'm like, dude, you've been funding the KK. You've been funding Nazis in Ukraine that have been killing 14 yeah. year olds, little kids, and the Donbass for years. 14,000 of bet, them dead. I bet you don't use your your black street poet voice when you're doing that i bet that's yeah. when you code switch up because of putin mm -hmm. he's a madman come see us live on tour we're going to be in toledo detroit st louis tampa boca raton orlando dallas houston san diego bloomington illinois go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all those tickets